The views and opinions expressed in this podcast episode are those of the host and guests and not their sponsoring institutions. <laughs> I hate it when you hear the... <sighs> it's like, man, <laughs> drink some water. There's so somebody... It's like the point where they, they they can't even grunt. They just sigh. Like they they've settled in for the long haul. It's like <sighs> just, they they know they're in for the long play. Yeah, this hey, is just man. they'd be like, "Have you seen what's his face?" Like, "Hey man, he 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 took a lunch." <laughs> now nah, he took back. a lunch. <laughs> no, he's getting rid of the third lunch. That's the problem. No, he getting rid of dinner. <laughs> dinner. He he's getting rid of his soul. Low key. Like we've been there, man. You had to take all your clothes off to take a shit, man. Listen here, it, hey, it happens to the best of them. Hey, it happens, yeah. They'd be like, they'd be like, Chris. I'd be like, I'm busy. That is definitely the <laughs> take all my clothes off and take a shit. Turn the shower on. <laughs> Turn, Turn the, the shower, shower on. Hey, it might so be so bad you, you gotta to put your feet on top of the tub. Oh, Chuck, hey, Chuck, get out my house. I've bro. been there before. Oh, God. Oh, God. Put that your feet on the tub is wild. And I have done it a few times. Pray, 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 pray to the God above. No, that is one of those poops. You'd be like, what the f did I eat today? Oh, boy. You mad at yourself. You, you, you mad, mad at, at your life. body. You no, Girl, no, Chris. You, 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 you is you, like going through making life decisions. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Chris, like, <laughs> you sweating and shit. Now you sweating. You naked and you sweating. You sweating, but you're not hot or tired. You just pooping. Why are we sweating? We we're just pooping. Like, what is? Why is this happening? Oh, you sweat. You sweat. You, you, you damn well. You sweat. struggling. Listen here. You struggling. You sweating. You're, you struggling. you're crying. You be like, you still in there? I'm like, yes, yes. Your fucking feet no, no, no. went numb because yeah. you just been sitting there and now you just... You can't do nothing because you can't stand up because you're going to fall. <laughs> Chris, you wouldn't even well, be listen. saying yeah. You'd be going, ah. You'd be like, ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, my God. Your is, Yo. You think you dumb. As soon as you stand up, you got to sit right oh, back no. down. Like, boy. Hey, Chuck, Chuck, get out of my house, bro. I just want to get up. Look, some some hey, days hey. it is some days it is truly. You know you in there a long time when the kids come to the door and be like, "Hey, you all right in there?" And you be like, "Yeah." <laughs> I'm good. You uh, you we you, haven't you, you, we haven't seen you for two days. I'm good. Two days. God two, damn. God damn. You dehydrated damn. too. So you go. Should we should we call somebody? But no, nah, it's all good. It's all good. Just it's just good. just let me just, just give me a bottle of water and some mineral oil. I got, I got. Some mineral oil, huh? Some Gatorade, if you got any. Bring some cool juice and some Vaseline, no, please. No, 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 no. Why are we having Vaseline on the toilet? Because <laughs> it ain't, it, it ain't sliding out the way it should. You <laughs> lubricate. <laughs> Slide some more. Welcome back to the Chris Cross Corner Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Canty. We have the great debaters in here. We have Bezo Lowe, Marcel Smith. I hate you, Marcel. We have Walter. <laughs> we have Walter with Wheat Thins. And, oh, and we have Chuck. What up, man? I thought, why is Marcel's name so long? Oh, like, oh my god, dog. Asshole. That is fantastic. <laughs> oh my god, bro. All right. Welcome back to the weekly conversation. We oh. just talk shit about world news, Detroit news, new stuff that we found out last weekend. Listen to the podcast on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube, which you can look at all the episodes from episode one all the way till now on YouTube. 
the RSS feed is on YouTube. So go to YouTube at Crisscross Studios. All right. Listen to the podcast anywhere. Link is in the description below. Okay. Join the conversation on Facebook, the Facebook group. That's where you get all the inside conversations to every episode. Okay. We got the chat. We got the top 10 list that I post every week. We have conversations each week, which we will be bringing back for the summer so we can get some more like interactions from people, which we have 792 members on there. Okay. Seven ninety two. I'm trying you to get to a thousand. Okay. So please share. Bring a friend in. Thank you for your support. All right. This top ten is gonna be something that I thought of last weekend. I was watching this something on ESPN and they had like the hardest sports to play. And I was like, okay, I could do a top ten right here. What are the hardest sports to play if I were to play them? These are my top ten hardest sports to play. Golf, so we're gonna argue that later in running. the show. Which one? I say anything that gotta do with running right now. Fam. She is. Fam. The kneecaps and the car. Not the kneecaps. I'm talking about my breath. The cardio. My lungs. <laughs> I got good knees. I I just can't breathe. Uh, as good soon knees. as you as soon as you run, you feel like you think you're fine. Like. Huh. As soon as you take two steps, <laughs> okay. No, I'm not that bad. You may need to see a doctor for that. What you doing, Detroit? So, Movement Festival was last weekend. We had the EDM Dance Music Festival, which we also had the Grand Prix stuff set up as well. So, people had a hard time trying to get into the festival, which was a very hard, you know, very hard way to get in. But people got in, and they had a good time. It rained, you know. You, people you, said, that, you said that was on, on Heart Plaza? Yeah. It was yeah. hard to get in there because they have the race set up for this weekend. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I want, I want to go to Grand the race. So this bad. weekend, right? Yeah. 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 And and like the city, yeah, it's the like the track set up, which is cool, but it is definitely not great for. Um, it was so bad that Randolph is the only way to get into downtown, but yeah. people were double parked. On random, yeah. I said, like, you know, this is the only way to get in. Why are y'all double parking to get flowers? Like, what is going on? Like, mm. you go, but you better get your car towed and ticketed and booted. Ticketed episode, and booted. Oh, damn. on an episode of Parking Wars, which they need to bring back. Did that still that come on? It needs to come back because that was hilarious. Parking Wars, new season, funny. just all Detroit. They were like, it says no standing. He was like, but I wasn't standing here. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's not what no standing means, bro. People, people are standing. Man, I wasn't standing. You know how many I times I wanted to, you know how many times I pointed a sign like anytime at like Strong Hall at Eastern? Oh, yeah. Where it's like, be like, what do you what do you think this means? Hey, I didn't know what it meant until I started driving. So I was like, that's you know what, what? No, the we met when they gave you the book. Yeah. The little pamphlet. I was like, oh, that's what that means. Because I didn't know. I was like, I just like, no standing. That means you can't stand right here. From here to there, you can't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you know because you know how to read. Speaking of that, Pride okay, Fest is the week off. after the, the race. June Damn. 8th and 9th. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's like downtown just can't catch a break. We need like a week between events so people can enjoy Man, it. Oh, you, want you, know, your, you, you want your city to be well-respected? This is how you do it. No, I, no you, I, can, you no. can space out the events, though. You could, but also, I mean, yeah, I like guess they that's can, true. They can, do, they can do Pride Fest like the 20, the week after Father's Day. They could actually have Pride Fest the same week as the fireworks. That would be great. But they're still whole, they're still just throwing multiple events in one week. That would be great. Yeah. We got fireworks and Pride. What's better than that? <laughs> they're so one what of I'm a hearing parade is, group. Wait, wait. Can, can we call it the color? Can we call it the weekend of colors? 
No, because that's mm. something else. That's actually another festival. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that festival, Walter. That's Thank you for right. Is that when they do the color yeah. run and shit? No, this it's, uh, it's like a multicultural um color carnival of colors at Shane yeah. Park. Color of the Ra- Ooh, the, something uh, like that. It's like African and Caribbean weekend. cultures, yeah. And, and That'd be a stuff. fun weekend, mm-hmm. low key. Yeah, I, um, but I, I I do like the fact that Detroit's bringing a lot of stuff back into into the city because I I remember being a kid and being like, there's not nothing is going on here, nobody's doing anything. Mm-hmm. They need to bring the state fair back. They do. Bam. Can they bring the? Uh, they need to bring the oven back too. Yeah, the state what? fair. And the what? The giant oven that was outside the state fairgrounds. That was an oven up there. Y'all don't, it was the world's largest oven. Y'all don't, y'all oh, are you talking about the pizza that. oven? No, not the pizza oven. The I have no, I, I've old. never been to the state fair, so I don't know. What? You you never went to the state fair? No. Damn. I went to the Universal Soul Circus and the Shrine Circus. I've never been to no state fair. I mean, I went to, I mean, I feel like you didn't live in Detroit if you didn't go to the Universal Circus. Yeah, you're not black if you don't go to the Universal Circus. At least Univer- one. No, 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 no. It's the Universal <laughs> Circus. Mm-hmm. Or it's just to say the Soul Circus, but yeah. Man, does that make me black then? Yes, Basil. No, you're getting your black excellence <laughs> shirt, right? <laughs> yeah. Thirty-five dollars, you know. <laughs> Merch.com, you know. Link is on the bio, you know. No, no, ba- Basil. For you, for you, my friend, thirty-six dollars. Oh, okay. The colonizer fee. <laughs> Even though $10. we were like my family Quaker, <laughs> thanks, but okay. Hey man, hey man, you're from the same country. I'll pay. I'll pay my due. I'll I'll from pay my country, association dues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the month of June, you, you got to pay thirty five. You got to pay thirty five dollars. Y'all can y'all can, y'all can y'all do the skateboard and say you were month. Quakers. Y'all 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 still was like, hey, slavery's wrong, but we'll we'll, we'll let Abraham do it. <laughs> we'll allow <laughs> yeah. it. We'll let Abraham do it in 1863. (laughs) Uh, We have the African World Fest, July 12th through 14th. We have the Arab Chaldean Fest, July 27th and the 28th. Then my favorite, my favorite festival which should be everybody else's favorite. We have the Ribs and R&B Fest, August oh. 9th through 11th. Who performed? They have a lot of great ribs. What did you say, Chuck? Who performing? I got to look at the set. I got to look at the set because I, I, I haven't seen it. But I did see the set for the Afro Nation Fest, which came back last year to the city. Yeah. Now it's back. Lil Wayne is now on the docket. Nation Fest. We have oh, for the Rib and R and B Music Fest. We have Next Case, Ro James, okay. Adina Howard, and Glenn Jones. Okay, we got a okay. Next is gonna Not be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Adina Howard's gonna be there. I thought she stopped making music. That's not, yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm going for one day for the Monroe County Fair too, just because. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Ludacris is going to be there. Yep. Oh wait, at the Monroe County Fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Yeah. La- uh, last year we had Nelly. Yeah, Nelly was there last year. I almost went. I was like, ah, I can't. I can't and before I that, time. I'm trying to remember. Before, like it's weird. Monroe County Fair, you would think it would be all the country crap. No, we, we've been like these last like six years. Y'all finally like r and and rap. Y'all finally like the songs that y'all hated back in the 2000s. Everybody knows that one turn on 96 from b- between like Davidson and, and Illinois. That one turn, that one curve used to be the curb of death because all them potholes and you trying to turn it like this at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> Listen here. I had it was it was snowing and I had oh. to hit that curb. When I tell you, I did a whole fucking 360. Damn. 
Damn, I did a 360 and just kept on going. That bitch was like, no, no, no. He's still rolling, though. <laughs> yeah, it, turned, it turned right back around, like, and he faced like, oh, the right the skyline. way. The like, skyline. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, listen here. That was like some of the worst shit. I was scared as hell. I just, like, man. Oh, you come around that corner too fast. You, yeah, you gonna fuck on a good up. day, man. Even if it's dry, you might hit a rock or something. Just yeah, you just gonna... you definitely fucking shit up, man. <laughs> I'd be holding on to the seat like this. I'd be like, hey, man, if we if we flip over, we flip over. Fairlane has gotten away with DTE once again. They have had a reprieve on their electric bill. They are not going to be shut down. This no week. way. I was this close. Yeah, who paid it for him? Who, must say, who paid the bill? Somebody did. Somebody had to. You know all the people in Dearborn, they got money. They do. That is fair that they do. <laughs> they, yeah, do. they will not close in my store. I shall pay the bill. <laughs> but uh, That's how they sound, Chris. That's how they sound, man. That's, that's <laughs> how they sound. Is that so, Chris? Hey, man, hey. I'm not saying this from what I heard. I'm doing this by what I know, okay? I've been through the stores in, in Fairlane, man. They'd be like, I'll sell you a suit, uh, and you get five for free. <laughs> I'll sell you a suit, and you get five for free. A suit, not even altered, bro. they just like, hey, man, put this on. What the K and G is going on here? It's not even K. At least at KG, they, at least at KG, they at least act like they about to alter it. They do the little lines and stuff on the pants. No, but usually you gotta go next door. At least, so at least get it altered. At least, at least attempt to alter that shit. And G. Uh, Fairland got his light bill paid, and this is the most stupidest thing I've heard all week. General Motors. Oh boy. Said that the CEO of General Motors say that it may demolish the Rensen after they move out later next year. What? 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 Yeah. yeah. Never. Never mind the fact that so they moved in, so they didn't even build it, and they're already moving out of it. But they're all for having it torn down. For four, build it, and then GM moved into it. Ain't that about a bitch? I'm just but surprised. Why surprised was you about the this. That's like part. That is like part of Detroit skyline. Like I, 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 I told people right off the bat, we need to get this thing nationally and locally registered as historic, just so that they do. GM can't do a damn thing. GM is gonna fuck up everything if they tear that down. Like, don't even buy well, a Cadillac it's... anymore. Because you were buying well, Cadillacs think... before, Mister Jeep Compass. No, I'm <laughs> saying like don't buy any. Don't buy any. GM product. I mean, anything, anything many down. Mary yeah, Barrera also. touches, it gets, it goes bad. Now so, that I can't yeah. agree with, because she definitely came in, like while she GM made was the Hummer electric, the Walter. Out. She made the Hummer she electric. Made... She got rid of all the sedans. Like, what is going on? Yeah. What is and going then, on? And it goes like, Hummer. and then goes on there going like, too many people are buying foreign cars, like. Right. I or wonder why. You made the Suburban a working man SUV. It, 90 it is a grand. Man SUV, though. It is a working man SUV, though. All the working men I know. 90 are grand? Yeah. No, that's that's Escalade it's money. Not even, it's, not even a, it's not even a 90 grand car. It's like more like a 50. Maybe 45. And, and they mark it up. But now it's 90,000 for base model. Fuck, fuck you, GM. Atlantis, if I you're listening, lo- if you're listening to the podcast, bring back the Chrysler LeBaron. Do not 20, bring back the Chrysler LeBaron. Bring it back. Bring back the Cirrus, no. the Stratus. Bring back the God, Eclipse. Wait a don't minute. Bring back any of those. Those were all yeah. shit. No, 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 no. Bring back drum roll, please. Bring back. No. The PT, the PT Cruiser. Cruiser. Ow, yes. Oh my God. That prison car. Yes. <laughs> I still won't forgive Marcel though for that one Christmas. Actually, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on a sec. They they could bring back the LeBaron because mm. also part of Stellantis is Maserati again, which means they could bring back the Maserati LeBaron, the GTC. Yeah, they bring it back. 
hey, or the, uh, or the TC. I'm, 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 they're going to bring the plant please. back. They're going to bring the plant. The Jefferson plant is going to make the Maserati look better. Please don't, please don't bring the Maseratis back. Bring, bring, bring back, back the Chrysler TC no, 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 by bad. Maserati. Bring, bring, no, 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 my bad, my bad. Please don't bring back the LeBarons for the love of God. Imagine, Do imagine only, the imagine the only car factory left in Detroit is making Maserati <laughs> LeBarons. <laughs> The top 10 hardest sports to play. Now, these are the ones that I think are hard. There might be more. Which there are more. But these are the ones that I think are very hard. And if you have any top 10 list suggestions, please join the Crisscross Studios Facebook group. Post your suggestions. Now, honorable mentions for the top 10 hardest sports to play. I have equestrian. Because, Jesus, riding a horse is hard work. I guess you can count that as a sport. Ride the horse. You got a crip walk with the horse. Basically. <laughs> now that's funny. You basically do have the crip walk with the horse. You're just walking like, hey, hey. Keep it going. Hopping over the little poles. <laughs> hey, I got I, I have, I have, I have a question real quick, if you'll let me. Um, do the Bloods have a walk? Yeah, Sorry, they like, do. Okay, okay, because I, I know I, I like I because I, I know like the crip walk because I remember doing the crip walk in school back in the day because we didn't know what it was. Um, you know what, Walter? That is a legitimate question, and I thank you for asking that because a lot of black people, a lot of white people, a lot of people around the world don't know that there's a blood dance. Like myself, I did not know. So thank you for asking. Yeah, that they question. Go. But don't dance in there in the blood territory. So. <laughs> <laughs> your last crip walk if you try to crip walk in blood territory if you see pyru <laughs> on the if you see pyru on the walls do not, do not crip walk this is a I PSA I should have killed you it's a PSA from Chris Canty <laughs> do not do not okay all right so equestrian is on there tennis is on there too tennis is hard Tennis is hard. Like when they be screaming, they be they be grunting because it's hard. <laughs> okay. But I can never get the uh I can never get the right amount of power. Everything was just flying out all the time. Tennis is Man, difficult. My my balls are going over the little gate that they got. I was like uh, <laughs> I was like, ooh, that was kinda high. <laughs> <laughs> uh swimming. Very swimming hard is difficult. Swimming is like very backstroke. Difficult. You try to backstroke in an Olympic style pool like Michael Phelps, it's hard. Okay. I used to used to try I, to do that for work. Like, that was that was a pain. It's really not. I mean, but this is competition swimming, okay? It's really not. Low key, it's all fixed to backstroke no, no. and freestyle. It's like, <laughs> and they win. That's a bad motherfucker right there. I'm about to say, no, I, I always I always had trouble with those, like with some of those, but that one. Uh, okay, so with all of these sports, these are all competitive. So you're, you're trying to win. Okay, so swimming like competitive like Michael Phelps in the Olympics. Yeah. Very hard. If you're going to compete, compete at that level. That'd be awesome, though. It would be cool, though, if I could beat Michael Phelps with my little ass body. Little? Hey, I'm 6'1". <laughs> Michael Phelps is like 6-something, and he was gone. Things was, was like Michael Phelps like 6'4", I think. Vertical or horizontal? Number five, number, oh no, the, first, the, the last honorable mention. <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do figure skating. Hey, that's your family. Oh man, <laughs> might beat his ass later. <laughs> uh, and last one is figure skating for honorable mentions. Very hard. Okay. That alone just made my ankles swell. Make people keep their balance too. All right. Speaking of keeping their balance, number ten, we have yeah. rowing. Rowing is difficult. Rowing is rowing, hard. yeah. It I thought exhausting. I could do it. I let the current take us back. I was like, I am I'm done. It took us like 20 minutes to get back. That was too funny. Because I ain't rowing no more. My arm was tired. Number nine, we have ice hockey. 
ice hockey is fun. Ice yeah. It's very hard. It's hard as hell. You skating and you got to watch out for someone beating your ass? Like, <laughs> this is not funny. <laughs> And and you got a Popeye's biscuit coming at you? Man, not a Popeye's biscuit. That's messed up. A burn that hook, hockey puck. Yeah, that hockey. I couldn't be no goalie. Like you got them niggas doing like a slap shot over a hundred miles an hour. Over a hundred miles an hour, bro. Nope. No, you think that's bad, Chuck? Try sitting behind the goal and they miss. And it hits the glass right in front of you. And it hits that glass. Yeah. Or you get cut. Or you can get cut by a skate. Oh no, they wear no. gloves. No, like, no, 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 no. Somebody, somebody's neck no, got cut the, on the ice one time. Yeah, that was back in the late eighties, and since then they had they have to wear that that, that collar, uh, yeah. neck guard, neck collar, yeah, That's because of that. Still, it was man. Boston. Look, the only reason, Boston, all, all I all I know is the only reason the guy is alive is because the the, uh, the like he immediately was dropped and went like this. No, yeah, he no, immediately well, the, like. He missed. He missed a critical per- portion of his neck. Yeah, yeah. I well, like that this. And the, uh, and the ref. Well, the ref was a like former, like a former paramedic or something like that. Uh, Vietnam, yeah. like yeah. Still though, he was still, ready. Though, he, was ready. he was ready. He was ready. He was. He was like he, he, basically. Was like, I'm on guard. Basically, he I'm on duty. he had the entire deck stacked for him that night. Yeah, it was like man. man here we go. Put this stuff to good use. He was. He was ready again. <laughs> number eight is baseball people don't think about this baseball is a very very hard sport oh, to play if you're playing too. professionally this ain't no this ain't no this ain't no meet nine friends at the sandlot this is like if you no you're getting thrown out meeting friends at the sandlot I, I said it you, you're, you're trying to hit a hundred mile per hour ball which most people cannot do I am one of them people. Even professionals. I am definitely one of those. I, I don't like even if know I'm if at I the batting like cages. Get to put 80 me, mile per hour ball. What? Yeah, put me at 60, maybe 75. Maybe I hit the 75. I'll, I'll bunt to 75. <laughs> I'll say I'll just I'll bunt, bunt every one of them. I'll be like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm out. Underpitch softball, uh, softball pitch. Shoot, if, shoot, if it's a 60, I'll even purposely turn my back to it and just get that free base. Did you see the one pitch? The guy hit it, and he knew he was out. He just walked back to the dugout. <laughs> yeah. He even run. He even run the first base. <laughs> he, did, he did, like, first – he did, like, five, like, fast steps and then immediately like slowed down to a jog. He was like, just... ah, I'm going back. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, <laughs> you're being paid millions of dollars. Just, just run to first base. Make us hope, you know." <laughs> he said, "What for? Why am I using all this energy when I know I'm right, out? Why am I running if I'm already out, bro? I'm out. The inning's over. <laughs> just <laughs> inning's uh Wait, he was a third batter. <laughs> he, he was out. <laughs> no hitter. <laughs> Give it to him. <laughs> all right." Number seven, we have association football or soccer. Very hard sport to play at the professional level. Well, Chris, how hard can it be? All you have to do is kick a ball. Uh, yeah, when you're U5. <laughs> that sounded really like Eric cartman for a second there. Hey, man. But why, why when it's, like, when it's, it's like high school, college, and professional, oh, boy, you better pray. You better pray you're not on the bench because if you're on the bench, you ain't playing. I mean, you suck. You're, you're, you're lucky injured, you're man. allowed to sit on the bench. Right. You're on the bench for decoration. When Messi's tired, then you're going. <laughs> From here on out, these sports are just ridiculous. Like, why? Why do people do these? Number six, we have water polo. Yeah, that'll look hard. No, that, that one that, that is hard. fair. That's and the pool is deep. They ain't even no shallow water. Yeah, they yeah. ain't like six yeah. feet, like ten feet deep pools. Like, what are we doing? Drowning, doing? drowning. Like, if yeah. you can't swim, <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, we're doing water polo. Yeah, I got this. You're like, wait, why are we going to the deep end? I was going to say, there's, there's a reason why, like, you always see movies that take place in the 60s of, like, Remember the Titans or where they're all, like, football, basketball, stuff that's 
you know, not in water. Imagine if they try doing a 1960s water polo. It's like that movie's gonna end. Quick. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's ending quick because that's a lot of that's a lot of swimming. It'd be like, hey, yo, he's drowning. It's like, no, he's not. No, he's damn, not. he's not. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> what if he's actually drowning? Like he's drowning. No, he's not. No, he's not. He has to be a man. <laughs> he's not drowning. I'm watching him drown. Hey, no, he's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, well, but I'm watching him drown. He good. I mean, a bit he float. His, his head's being held under. <laughs> Someone actually I said that in swimming. Float. Someone actually said that in swimming class. I cracked up and died laughing. I was like, "It's not being a bitch and float." I was like, "What if he doesn't know how? What if he doesn't know how?" And you got him out here eight feet deep. Like the 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 the, the, the water is black. You can't wait, wait, see wait. the bottom. <laughs> Wait, wait, Chris, don't worry. Eventually, he'll float. You know what? We're going to move on. Uh, well, five, that is why we can't have nice things. Number five is gymnastics. <laughs> that right there. That's why we know, can't that was nice. really dark humor. And I love it, Basil. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> number five is gymnastics. A very hard sport. Every time, everything you do in gymnastics could end in a trip to the hospital. <laughs> That is very no, true. For real. Or in Everything. Michigan State's case, the courtroom. <laughs> Basil, I need you to stop. Too soon. Too Basil. fucking soon. Basil, what is Someone... really going on tonight? Chucks, take his phone, bro. Man. Take his phone. Really? Take his phone, bro. That was wild, Basil. You you two for two. That's wild. Number four, we got boxing. Yeah, you're getting knocked the fuck out. Knocked out. <laughs> Can't do wow. that. Two okay. shots a night, you done for. But a Number four. three, we have rugby. Oh, seven. Yeah, is... no, I'm not playing. That's like grown men playing pick them up, mess them up, bro. That's all that is. For reals, all yeah. laterals. No, honestly, I, I still honestly. got red. I still got red bruises off of that. They said, "Hey, Chris, let's play rugby." I was like, "Sure." How do you play? It's basically just laterals. I was like, "Okay, I know what a lateral is." <laughs> we gave me the ball. I never seen so many niggas come at me at once. I was like, "You know what? I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna walk right over there. I'm good." Now you know what Black China feels like. I'm, I'm good, sir. Stop. That was too soon. Hey, too hey. Soon. So, so what time is it? I think it's it's, it's getting late because niggas is losing their minds. <laughs> they <laughs> are. <laughs> we'll never do this to this late again. Um, <laughs> yes, we are. Number two, we have mixed martial arts like UFC, MMA, you know, street fight and all that stuff. Very, very dangerous. That is true. That they yeah, are. yeah even more dangerous than boxing. Getting kicked us out the goddamn head. No, that's, like, that's true. Kicks hurt. Like damn, like a nigga hate you that a nigga hate you that bad that he had to kick you like roundhouse in the face. Like, you saw a couple, like, especially like, this. like if you get if you get knocked out in the street fight with a kick, like that's just something that's just like disrespectful. Like, bro, you might as well just go ahead and move to another state at that point because. It's like you just got your ass beat by Zohan. Basically, the uh, first bro, person like, player opened. How you get kicked? How you how you get kicked, bro? You gotta move states. Like, you gotta move across the country. But once you like, if I was to get into a fight and I see a nigga pose like he like about to kick me, I'm gonna just go ahead and say, "Hey, bro, you got it. Like you know something that I don't." The minute that just bow out. The minute the, the, minute the man just respectfully, some tongue suit. So respectfully, walk to my car. My bad, bro. You got it. My bad. Right here. I apologize for whatever I did. Here's my wallet. I'm sorry. Here's my wallet. I'm out. Deuces. No, All but right. Chuck, I, I, like, I, I, I get what you mean because you uh because I I've, I've seen it before. It's like you, they you you can tell when somebody's about to go for a kick. Even if you, even if you don't see the kick coming, you you can tell when somebody's about to go for the kick. Just yeah. Nah. It's the way they standing. Like you could tell how they standing. Like they about to fucking kick you, bro. They they about to go for some shit that you that you ain't practiced for. 
that you like, hey, this is a street fight. I thought we was throwing fists. I didn't know we was in a karate match. I didn't know. Especially we when in- you do the kick, the spinning back kicks. Mm. Boy, a nigga do a twirl and kick me up and knock me out. I'm like, hey, man, you might as well go to school. Man, I- <laughs> my shit. No, this is a no ho- This is a no uh, bars home like- match. No, man. pack my shit right now. I'm moving. Movement, right? Hey, what, what happened to Chuck? Yeah, man, he got kicked in the head, bro. Moved like Chuck Colorado. Who? That was the last time we heard. No, Even Chuck, he, had to move, he had to move to Montana. <laughs> he that's a state you don't hear about a lot. About that's the state he you don't hear a lot he about. He come back one day, but today is not the day. No, he never comes back. He live in ain't Montana. nobody there but people in the witness protection and the fucking people that grew up there and cows and and land. That's it, bro. And cows man. and land. You forget it that's out there. You're like, oh, yeah, Montana. I, like, you tell me what's in Montana besides cowboys and people in witness protection. <laughs> Wait, so then what's in Wyoming? I thought that so was Indian cowboys. The same thing. The same Bears. thing. So y'all ain't never got hit on by me and my gay dude. Never? Oh, I, consistently. I'd but be like, junior high. Man. This nigga said junior high. <laughs> Junior high. Nineteen ninety eight. He said, "Basil is it's, it's middle school Basil, now." Are you tired? Oh, he said, "Junior high." <laughs> like it was seventh grade. Yeah, it was a kid. It was now. a kid in my block. He said, he, he's speaking his truth, y'all. Let him speak his truth. <laughs> That's what I was like. at first. I thought. I thought at first. I thought he was just trying to screw with me. Then he I was. was he was me. trying yeah. to screw with you. Right. You know right. what I mean? Be like, I don't know. I'm, I'm with this. You know light what? You know what? <laughs> let's so get to my. Let's get to my my top one. My number one hardest. Anyway, pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> my, number, my number one hardest sport to play <laughs> is the triathlon. What's that like? Four different sports, sir. That's just a little Eight, bit. Three different sports. Something like oh, three. It's three. Try. What is that? The swimming, the the swimming, swimming the bicycling, bike, and running, the, and running. Wow, running. right? It's crazy. Like, do no. they pick? Like, it's it'd be better if the sport if you could pick which one you do first, because that just changes the entire race. Like, would I want to cycle first, run? No, it, or swim? it's usually you. It's usually you start with a swim, then a run, and then a bike. So how, how long is the swim? The swim is... Is it cut in three parts? Yeah, it's cut in three parts it's, where it's like... Like three equal, equal parts? equal distances, right? No, no, not not three equal because, oh my gosh, that would... <laughs> that would that swim would suck. suck. <laughs> Going across the English Channel. Like, um, ah. like Chris is uh, drowning. Okay. I made it two, so, I made it two meters. Okay, so for the, for the swim... You do uh, 1,500 meters, so 1,650 yards. Then you bike for uh, 40 kilometers, which is 25 miles. And then you got to run 10 kilometers, which is a little over six. Okay, so I just looked it up on Google. That's the that's the Olympic triathlon. It's, it's yeah. like 31, 32 miles worth of stuff. This, this search engine literally just told me, I said triathlon. They say equipment. Triathlon equipment. I said, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what is that? <laughs> it seems like it's a bike, some track shoes, and some swim trunks. That's all it is. Maybe, maybe goggles. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe you might want to see maybe. the fish, you know? <laughs> That'd be crazy, man. Place. What if you don't make it? What if you don't make it past the swimming part? You just drown. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Is it like golf when you got to start over? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, you can't make, you can't go to the running part. You got to go back. You got to go back. Well, I guess if you drown, you out the race, right? <laughs> nah, no, you still got to go to the finish line. You're like, you good? You good? Oh, 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 he's awake. By the way, you got to start over. <laughs> Be like, hey, you got to start over from next year. You, gotta, you made it like nine out of the ten miles. You're like, man, I got to do the whole nine miles again. Hey, that, oh, hey, we that's still when got, you we take still got one two of more parts. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's been another edition of the Crisscross <laughs> Corner <laughs> Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Kanji. Thank you, great debater, for being on the show. See y'all next week. Peace.